Hey everyone, welcome to today's review featuring the Brita Everyday Water Filter Pitcher. Now Brita is probably the biggest name when it comes to water filter pitchers, but are Brita pitchers really the best? Well, we conducted our own lab testing on the highly popular Brita Everyday measuring for real life contaminant reduction. So if you consider buying a Brita pitcher, make sure to watch this video first. Okay, so the Brita Everyday was part of our recent water filter pitcher comparison, where we checked out and compared 11 of the most popular and effective pitchers on the market. I'll link the video here and in the description. The comparison included lab testing for each of the 11 pitchers. Essentially, we compared the levels of impurities and contaminants in our unfiltered tap water and compared that to the level in the filtered water. This provided us with real life contaminant reduction rates for each pitcher. So based on these reduction rates and several other factors, the Brita Everyday did not make it into our final product recommendations. However, since Brita is such a big player, we wanted to provide a complete review, pointing out the good, the bad, and the ugly about the Brita Everyday and Brita water filter pitchers in general, and also let you know the product or products we recommend instead. That said, today's review is based on the same analysis we did for our top 11 pitcher comparison video, and we will use the same Google Sheet which you can find in the description below. The sheet contains all the details you need about all 11 pitchers, so you can compare them if you'd like. We'll do a quick comparison as part of this video. We'll compare the Brita Everyday against the clearly filtered pitcher, which is our top recommendation right now if you want the most effective filtration process, and against the Water Drop Chubby, which is great if your number one priority is usability, looks, and a low price, but more on this later. By the way, all product links are also included in the description below and in the Google Sheets, so you can use them if you want to support our work at no additional cost to you while making a purchase. Also, make sure to check out our discount codes. And speaking of support, please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's get into our Brita review. So this review features the Brita Everyday, which if I'm not mistaken, is also sometimes called the Brita Large. So the Brita Everyday or Large holds the standard 10 cups and it can be used with two different Brita filter cartridges, the Brita Standard and the Brita Elite. For this review, we use the Brita Elite filter cartridge, which is considered to be the more effective one. And because all other Brita pitchers and dispensers can also use Brita's Elite filter cartridge, except for the Brita Stream, they should achieve very similar filtration results, which we'll cover now. So for this test, we essentially took two water samples, one of our raw tap water, and one after our tap water had been filtered by the Brita Everyday pitcher, combined with the Brita Elite filter cartridge. We sent both samples to a professional and independent lab for analysis, and we compared the contaminant levels as soon as the lab reports came back. This allowed us to check how much of the undesirable impurities and contaminants were present in our water supply that the Brita pitcher was able to remove. So disclaimer, with this approach, we couldn't test for the reduction of contaminants that were not in our water. And also this kind of before versus after comparison is not an exact science, so you won't get 100% accurate results, so please keep that in mind. Anyway, how did the Brita pitcher perform? It achieved a 100% reduction for chlorine in all three disinfection byproducts found in our water, namely bromodichloromethane, bromoform, and dibromochloromethane. Copper and barium were also removed to 100%. For all other analytes, performance left some to be desired. Boron, 25% reduction, and to be fair, none of the pitchers we tested really excelled here. Lithium, no reduction at all. Strontium, 56%. Nitrate, 21%. And uranium, 57% reduction. We also didn't see a reduction in fluoride, but our numbers on that might be flawed, so they need to be taken with a grain of salt. Besides, there was a tiny amount of aluminum found in the filtered water that hadn't been detected in the raw water. Does this mean it was added by the Brita pitcher? Well, not necessarily, and the level was way below health goals, but we wanted to mention that anyway. So in summary, for some of the analytes tested, the Brita pitcher performed really well. But these were also the ones we usually consider easy to remove. For all the stuff that we consider a bit harder to remove, filtration was subpar at best, and other pitchers performed way better than the Brita. Well, why so? It must have to do with the filtration process that the Brita pitcher applies. Basically, it uses activated carbon, which is good, Lined with bacteriostatic silver and possibly mixed with other filter media, we're not so sure. All we know is that Brita mentions absorbance to be included in the filter. This may or may not include ion exchange resin. If not, ion exchange resin would be really important for broad contaminant removal, and this might explain the partially lackluster filtration results. Aside from the types of filter media used, 
Filtration performance is also about how long the water is in contact with said filter media. Although this might be annoying when you're thirsty, generally speaking, longer contact time between water and filter media leads to a more effective contaminant reduction. Now in our speed test, the Brita pitcher could filter four cups of water in two minutes, 30 seconds, which was much faster compared to most of the competition. In fact, our top recommendation, the clearly filtered pitcher required almost 30 minutes to filter four cups of water. So this also might explain why lab results for the Brita were not where we wanted them to be. Aside from our speed test, we also tested taste and odor of the filtered water, and it obviously had some taste left in it, which also points to incomplete filtration. But the good news was we couldn't detect any odor. The next factor that played a big role when checking out the Brita pitcher were NSF certifications for contaminant reduction. Here the Brita Everyday, combined with the Elite Filter cartridge, is certified against NSF and ANSI standards 42, 53, and 401. These certifications were granted by the WQA and the IAPMO and cover more than 30 different substances. That's not bad. However, if you dig a little deeper, you'll find that most of the certified substances are what we consider less important. Not because they would be less harmful, but because from our experience, they are the easier ones to remove using simple activated carbon. So please don't get me wrong, we always prefer having NSF certifications over not having them, but not all certifications are equally viable, so to speak. What we do like is that we have NSF Standard 53 certification for lead reduction and for asbestos reduction, and that's great. The rest is mainly organic compounds, including pesticides, industrial solvents, and trace pharmaceuticals, which, again, we consider less important because they're easier to remove. So aside from filtration, what else is there to say about the Brita every day? On the pro side, the pitcher is easy to assemble. The same goes for the filtered priming. The pitcher is also easy to use thanks to the flip top lid that allows for easy refilling and overall lightweight design. The pouring of the filtered water also goes nicely, even when you pour fast. On top of that, the Brita Everyday uses one of the best, if not the best filter life indicators of all pitchers currently in the market because the indicator doesn't simply count down from a pre-programmed number of days like most other systems do, and that's why we consider them rather useless. But the Brita Smart Light tracks actual water usage by tracking how often you open the lid to refill the pitcher. So provided you refill to the reservoir to the top every single time you open the lid, you will have an accurate tracking of the gallons filtered, and you'll know when it's time to replace filters, which, by the way, is also a very straightforward process. So Brita Elite filters last 120 gallons, which is good. And annual filter replacement costs come down to around $55 to $60, so they're highly affordable. But speaking of cost, here come a few more cons. I feel like Brita pitchers used to be more affordable in the past. The Brita Everyday is currently around $50 on Amazon, which means there's cheaper options out there. We also don't like the 90-day warranty. Some other pitchers are warranted to two to three years, like the Clearly Filtered and the Life Straw Home. So finally, what did other users complain about? Clogged filters, cracked plastic, and water spilling when pouring. Okay, so what's our final verdict? Well, on the plus side, we have the standard 10 cup size, good usability, fast filtration, a long filter life, and fast and easy filter replacements. But filtration results in our lab testing were lackluster and the filtered water also still had some taste to it. And this doesn't only apply to the Brita Everyday Pitcher specifically, but to any Brita Pitcher that uses the Elite Filter cartridge. And there's also the extremely short warranty. In our opinion, none of this mattered as much in the past when Brita used to be among the most affordable options in the market. But this doesn't seem to be the case anymore, and for a price tag of around $50 for the Everyday Pitcher, we think that there's better options out there. So what are the options? The clearly filtered pitcher is the one we consider the best when it comes to overall filtration effectiveness. It may only have a few NSF certifications, but it did achieve the best results in our lab testing. The filtration process also looks very promising, and there's a lot of test data to be found on their website. So this is the pitcher we recommend if drinking clean water is your number one priority. Be prepared to pay a premium though. And we recommend the Water Drop Chubby if your main concern is great usability and looks combined with a budget price. Most importantly, the Water Drop Chubby filters water even faster than the Brita. It pours nicely, the pour through tab works great, and we like the looks with a nice wooden handle. And although it's nowhere near as good as the Clearly Filtered, 
lab results for the water drop chubby were slightly superior to those of the Brita Everyday. And we also preferred the taste of the filtered water. By the way, we have discount codes for both the clearly filtered and the water drop chubby. And that's where I'll end today's video in order to keep things short. For a more detailed comparison of the Brita Everyday water filter pitcher to the clearly filtered, the water drop chubby and eight other pitcher models, check out our Google Sheet and our comparison video. We also have a standalone review of the clearly filtered, all links in the description. And please don't hesitate to ask questions in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you want more content like this and let us know which water filters you'd like us to review next time. See you soon.